I know with a lot of sun, but how about you and me have a race? You go and catch the unknown and I'll keep digging away. I'll go race so you can get done faster. Oh! Call me the bald. Okay. Or a little bit probably, yeah. Sure, go ahead. Police Officer Kayla. Let me guess. Hoo <laughs> hoo, right? Wow, what a shocker. Don't let the rest of you officer classrooms all had him as your lead as well. Wow, I'm so shocked right now, as you can probably tell. Alright, let's go Aqua Jet. Because, you know, this is the first time in the game. Decent animation. Decent. You don't have like there was an actual like jet in the form of like an aqua like creature, like the shape of a jet attacking the thing, rather than just in a big ball. I think that would have given me I think that would have been like way better personally, but um yeah. That's a pretty cool animation overall. And then we're just gonna quickly aqua jet this uh meta type two where we're where we're here and just finish off with that, okay? Should also be I was about to be like, where are they? I was like about to be like, why are they not here? But they're up here. Here are the snobby rich kids, or at least one or one is, that um, if you do the versus ticket trick, you get a lot of money from these two guys, typically. Alright, rich boy Jason, let's see what you got. Luxio, okay, okay, you. Yep, bang on actually. I go jet for the win. And we do not take it out because of Intimidate. Intimidate actually stays with Luxio. Intimidate cuts your attack enough. Fair play, fair play. The bit of fortune used charge this turn because like, ooh, Quilt is still up. Okay, okay dude, I see you, I see you. And Paul is gonna get a crit and take everything out in one hit anyway, so it doesn't really matter, right? Imagine that, I just did though. <laughs> Alright, I go jet, there we go, finally get this guy out here. Challenged by Lady Melissa. Alright, sounds good, sounds good to me. Paneri, hey, let's go. I must have a lot of them in this player, have we? But are you able to call it, in my opinion, it's one that is like an underrated mod? Not for like, you know, how well I can do battle, but like just the appearance of it. I don't really see any people, anybody ever liking this thing. It's quite a good special low point, it's pretty good. If only I had it, what do you call it, or Mega Evolution, what do you call it, ability as a normal ability, huge power, a low could actually be useful by the way. Sadly though, that's not the case. Alright, let's head the manage and see what we got going on then. Alright, into the mansion we go. We head to the trophy garden, the garden of all visitors to enjoy. Now please be aware, well Pokemon may appear in the garden. Yeah, we can't expect as much, that's fair. Wait, what's that then? Mr. Batlot is the master of this house. This is his office. Alright, let's go see him then. Hey, dude. Alright, nothing too much. What is that in the corner? Oh, I'm pretty sure we found a TM before in the game, Spider. But I guess obviously not. Yeah, no one can touch his Pokemon statue. That's fine. What's that then? Very expensive looking book of Pokemon. I wonder if they've changed it because, uh,. This is how you used to be able to get, uh, what's it called? The Manifay, what do you call it, Pokemon entry. I think that, that or Fionn, I'm pretty sure it was Manifay, but could you put the Wi-Fi in it? You don't need to do that right now. I wonder if they'll add that back after the event's finished, who knows? And what's this? I'm so sorry about everything, be everything beyond this point is strictly off limits. See, I thought they were more of this room. Apparently, apparently, if you try to clip and use walkthrough walls and you go through it, there's actually nothing on the other side, apparently, from what I understand. There's literally nothing there, even when you beat the champion in the original game, there's still nothing past this room. I still don't know why they have that room in the original, or well, in the remake. Because I feel like when you call it, they could have added something extra to this room. You know what I'm saying? Now it wasn't in the original, maybe, but oh well. Let's see what you're going to give us. I'm not looking off, I'm taking a personal break. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, I think it's the next room up, it gives us the aim that I really wanted to come here for, basically, alright? So you know how we are talking about friendship earlier in the game? Have a look at this. You know how you can catch Pokemon in the trophy garden? If you put this on a cup of Pokemon, it warms up to your faster. I'll share one with you, so give it a try. The Soothe Bell. I've been waiting for that item for a long while throughout the playthrough, so I'm glad we finally got it. Oh, and a burn heal from the bin as well. I didn't check the bin in the other rooms. So let me actually check out if there's anything there. Nothing in there, but there is something in this room though. Great ball, okay. We take that. And this is what I think it is, isn't it? So I'm going to say before we do it. I'm so sorry, everything beyond this point is secret and off limits. Really? 
Is, this, is that only a plan of feature, the uh, whole, like, having to beat the five, like, maids in a certain amount of turns to get a certain reward, which I'm pretty sure the rare candy, if I'm not mistaken. That feature might be available after post-game. But I know this right side, like, that was never really a call, uh, available. So, out of curiosity, let's see what's in the trophy garden. Trophy garden, alright. Um, a random encounter is shining pearl in the morning. You can get Roselia at 30%, uh, Pichu at 30%, Staravia at 20%, Pikachu at 10%, Crimson at 10%. In the daytime though, um, and if that is the same as some other encounter, right? So a little bit different, like Staravia during the day, up to 40% and Pichu from a 30% down to a 10% as an example. And then at night time, like Cricket Tune and stuff like that goes to a higher percentage, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's go then. Round 214. Okay, we've got a second train to start off with, so we don't really have exactly the most strongest mods on us right now. Can we box a few of our stronger mods? Because we're getting kind of a little bit over leveled, to be completely honest. So I'm going to get some other actual team members leveled up, like these two especially. So um, I'm going to lead with Poseidon and just see what we've got coming up, I guess. Bubble Beam, they're all about level 22, this is what I mean, like, I don't know why, but all of the gym leaders, like, the regular NPCs in the game are all just so weak. It honestly makes it good training for, like, the likes of my Roselia, my Colby and such, you know what I'm saying? The stream's gonna come out, is it all, it's also, like, level 22 or something like that, because it's still no level. Like, legit, if this was original, if this was Platinum or something, they'd probably be about, like, level 27, 28 or something. Just maybe, like... Four or five levels below the last gym leader. I'm actually surprised. That's something I've got to say about this game. It's like their levels are so much lower than I would expect, really. Ah, go check your stuff inside and you blue confused could break through. We're, we're a bit confused right now, and the Kadabra's coming in, so we're gonna switch to Simba to finish the battle off for us. Um, I guess we can go for Bite because you're psychic, so that should do a lot of damage, right? Two things damage. Let's go. Alright, let's go up into here, because this should be where the Rune Maniac cave is, right? I wonder if they made it easier in the remake. Everyone calls me a Rune Maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'm just keeping chipping away at the rock wall little by little. You know why? I'm a Rune Maniac who is fascinated by the unknown. I know it's a lot of sun, but how about you and me have a race? You go and catch the unknown and I'll keep digging away. I'll have a race so you can get done faster. So I believe to um get this cave fully unlocked, you have to catch all of the different types of unknown. Let me double check that for you guys. Okay, right, okay, okay, I see, I see. So I've just thought about how many letters are in the alphabet, there's 26, and it says you need to um, travel to the Salesian ruins to catch 26 types of unknown. You can find the rune on the eastern Salesian town. After catching all the unknown, the rune maniac guy will complete the cave. Now you can access the rest of the area and encounter all the types of unknown, as, as in the question mark and exclamation mark unknown, and you can also, fun fact, in the expansion area, that's when you get all the unknowns and stuff, right? Find Hippopotas as an encounter, but 5% more common cause. Before the expansion, Geo a 95% encounter Hippopotas is the 5%. With the expansion area, it becomes 90% to 10%. As in Geo 90% encounter, Hippopotas is 10%. And you get an item at the very end of the Expansion area too, but I can't remember what it is. It counts as in the Silesian tent area though. Now let's see what the same is anyway. Ah, oh, dang! Right, that's a good that's not a bad move that at all. Actually that could actually be really useful for like that's a permanent skate rope kind of thing. If you can start from caves or whatever. Not bad, not bad at all. We're actually gonna go around this side of the um area first though, because yeah. There's like two ways you can do this right, the left side and then the right side to go down until at least you get to the lake lake front and there's a straight path in there essentially. From what I can remember. Alright, he's got Crania Dose for us. Actually, fun fact, that's the first time we've seen a Crania Dose since the um, first gym fight, so that's pretty cool. Level 24, that's a bit more like it. Aqua Jet. And KO. Yes, that's a KO, alright. That's a KO, alright. Don't just like more like Crania Dose, and I need to actually play it on the ground in my own time and see if I can get some fossils to revive the uh, Orborn Mines I can show you how to use it, I've not actually shown you how to use it yet, but to be fair I've not got a fossil to use it yet, so I can't really show you no other fossils, can I? Well, I'm pretty sure most of you kind of have an idea how it works already though. I'll be the Geodude, we'll knock you out, we'll show 30, 
like I spot you, mate. Yep, exactly. Alright, guys, we're just gonna go ahead. Ooh, sandstorm, okay. Actually, no, it doesn't affect me because I'm part of steel pipe now, so literally, sandstorm did not do any damage to me whatsoever. See how we didn't get any damage come part of steel pipe now. Oh, that's sick. Anyway, we're gonna aqua gen to get this geo done, so it's fine. Brontor, yeah, sure, let's keep it. Uh, let's go with Bumblebee. Right, it's not really that, like, I guess Brian's basically the same as Bumblebee, but Brian obviously gets that super, like, did he really even level up one HP without, without like, Stardew? God dang it. But yeah, Brian is most effective, like, you know, when, um, he's below half health and you use the move. Basically, we need the yellow or red. Oh, yeah, there's a trainer actually in the grass here, isn't there? Um, yeah, we'll go fight him first, I guess. No, actually, maybe I'm aimed down here as well now that I think about it. Yeah, there is as well, see? One step to the right, tiny mushroom. I just remember there have been one here. Okay, uh, let's see here. Does Batcherine have an item real quick? New, no. okay. Well, let's go face this, uh, this, uh, really well encounter though. I'm gonna say that one of these times and I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret it because the mon's gonna randomly be shiny for no reason whatsoever. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Okay, I'm wondering how much damage Metal Claw is gonna do now. Remember, I'm a steel type, so I get when you call it stabbing it. It's not very effective. Oh, you avoid the attack. I see you, okay. But I also avoid his attack. Touche, touche. Alright, Metal Claw. Let's see how much damage you're doing if it's resisted, but it's now stabbed. Let's see. Probably it's a lot of damage for it being resisted, you know. I'll take that. He did 2 HP to me. Nice. <laughs> Lol. The reason why I've kept Metal Claw though is there's always a chance of getting the physical attack bomb. You just never know. I think it's 10% or something. Another know that will. Just the speed that we're going to go to Simba. Uh, let's actually go for Spark. Yeah. Get the speed out. And then some. We should find them one, boys. All right, I guess I guess we can use Volt Switch and show that up. Look, we're going to see how it looks in this game, I guess. If we've ever used Volt Switch in Jenny at all, let's head with a look. You sit these these they call little rings that float towards the opponent, kind of like that. Kind of cool. This is the Rude Maniac. Yeah, that's right, Rude Maniac Hunt. Oh, that could be like a title rather than a name. Shield done, eh? Rock and ground type, so you're quad weak to my water type attacks, eh? Okay, okay, I see. Uh, Aqua Jet, shh. Oh, wait, no, maybe Aqua Jet won't be enough, because level 46 and Steel Type do have a lot of defense. See, exactly, yeah, I had a feeling. Should have used Brain and stuff in there, and his iron defense. I've always liked the Jenny animation iron defense. I think it looks really sick. It gets like a little, like, iron shield. Yeah, that's so cool. Unfortunately, oh, you're not quite in a polar shield, Dylan, so you're going to be going down. Right, let's see here. And that would bring me down to around a bit this part of the right. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and grab that item real quick if it allows me to. Yes, it is. Oh, max potion. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Let's see if I can get over without, you know, running to a mod. No, nope. you always knew it was going to be hard for that to happen. I didn't even know there was an item up there. Good thing I came back up this way then. Let me go grab that for you guys. What is that even? It is a Migru. Ooh. I'm pretty sure it's Migru that item that like if you do like draining moves it gives you like more health back or something like that. I can't remember exactly but something like that. Let's see. I need to be able to buy a Pokemon. I boost them with HP the holder results in HP steal and moves stuff like Drain Punch, Mega Drain, Giga Drain. Pretty good stuff like. I'm actually gonna, gonna give, I've got no item on him, I'm actually gonna give the amulet coin to Just down in the front of the party, yeah. Alright, let's go pay the trainers on the right side of the right now then, shall we? Starting with you. Also an item off the off the camera there, I'll go get that after this battle. P.I. Carlo. Don't know what the P.I. P. means, like that's a cool trainer class apparently, that's weird, alright. Metal Clock. See, can we get it? No, not quite, okay. Pick. I'm not gonna do much really. 2 HP, like literally. What, what's it gonna do to me? Like, legit. Metal Clock again, this gold thing will probably go down. 
you. And an ally gold dean. Uh, let's go and just put something in both which. Actually no, you still have another ball, so I'm just gonna spark instead, I think. Right, what's your last ball? Another like gold dean, so now we're gonna go ahead and full switch. And that's call it the big guys, just like that. Okay, so that'd be slow, which is actually around this side, believe it or not. What is it even? Next question defense, me. You can keep going down the field, what are this for? I was certain after a little bit there would be a put ahead and had a little bit of a lot of hint in the corner or something. I had a feeling this might, you know, but I guess not. Just occasion. Hey, I'm trying to say that's a good wall. That's a good matchup for me, sorry, because I'm more type. It's actually weird how Polio and Typhoon works because when he's like a pit of a principal, he's not weak to fire type. But then because the steel type in the game, I think fire type actually neutral to Polio and not like resisting because steel would be super effective. Like fire would be super effective against steel. But on the other hand, water is good against fire, so like, like this kind of character that'll work, you know what I mean? Alright, this game just has three ponytails, guys. I'm just gonna take, that, take the fake the third one I have, how I took it out the first two, and we'll be on our way. Alright, another trainer. I did tell you, but you call it this, right? It's got a lot of trainers on it, so let's go. Let me see if they be switching up with the type of models to be faced, because this is a beauty class, right? Yeah, beauty Devin, okay. What you got for us? Wormadam. Alright, alright. I think this is the first time we've actually faced a train with a Wormadam. Like, yeah, I think I think, I think so, yeah. Cause we've got a Burmy. I think if you've got a female Burmy, this is what it evolves into. Wormadam? Yeah, it's because it's female. If it's a male Burmy, though, I believe it evolves into Mothin. If I'm not mistaken, right? Oh, does it do too much? Is Wormadam grass type by chance? Quiverdan. Ew. Okay. Okay, I take this thing a bit more seriously. So I was wondering why did it resist? And it's one more damn bug through grass, like, because bug doesn't resist water, I'm not led to believe. And anyway, let's just steal, see how much we can do with that. Almost. Bug bite, how much are we doing here? Even with a quiver down, it's only like, like 4 or 5 HP. That's really not that great, guys, that's really not that great. Like a bunch, yeah, like what, like. Okay, you know what, to be honest, that's a decent amount for one more you know what? That's not too bad. Combi's evolved. Okay. Or Linda apparently, yeah. Sure, go ahead. I thought it was level 25 but evolved, but I guess it's level 20. Magic I don't even know what level it is, to be honest with you. Like, I'm actually kind of confused because I thought what they call it, um, it was a few levels, you know? Okay. I was wondering why there was a long pause at the end of that battle. And there we go, we have a well, her Queen Bee already, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. I wonder, is that an item up here? Wow, just my intuition. Why would they make a dead end with literally nothing there? Yep. Yeah. So I'm telling you, just gotta check, guys, right? Demon, thank Michelle. Or oh, Mitchell, right? Not Michelle. Honor! Hey, that's the hip penalty the first time I've seen one of those in this game. We've seen quite a few gas leaves, and now we're getting to the mid stage in the fully evolved mod. This is when you're gonna get a lot of XP, guys. Like a lot. Alright, let's go with Bobby, man. Only that was 23 Honor, though. Actually, hold on a second, Buster. Gasly. Therapy.net. This guy's hacking. You can't, you can't get a Haunter until level 25. I see you. Okay. Ah, uh, but pretty much of all the level 21, that's kind of cool. Yeah, this guy's a Buster. Literally, level 25, you're two levels early, my dude. Uh, Kadabra? Yeah, I'll keep you in. Uh, just go again, same thing again, but we'll be realistically, you know what I'm saying? Is he gone? Yes, he is. This little hidden path, it looks like there might be something here because there's no trees here. Trust me, this is something that will be much later. This will be like post game stuff, trust me, alright? Although if you were playing Platinum and not Diamond and Pearl, this is actually an area you would come out of later on during the story. Uh, not very afraid. Let's go with Metal Claw and see how much that's doing then. Nice, good stuff. You know what's crazy, by the way? Um, I've used Metal Claw pretty much throughout this entire game, right? And I've still never got any, um, what's it called? Buff. Like a uh, attack buff from it. 
I'm actually going to swap because I think when they call it Elizabeth might be ready to take on a Roselia to be honest. I think that's what's coming out anyway. I could be mistaken. I think it is though. I'm sending my our Elizabeth Faith McQueen because, well, you're grass type. So I should be able to like do a lot to you here. Level 22. We're going to go ahead and use Gusted because, you know, that's actually just that poison thing. Is this going to be effective? Neutral it seems. Elizabeth is going to use Gust here. And that's doing decent damage, you know. I want to try and use a couple of my extra, like, you know, team members and see if I get, you know, a bit of, like, XP on them or not. I really do like that animation for Magical Event. It's such, such a great animation, to be completely honest. Alright, one more Gust. We did a stronger, like, flying type move. I do believe later on we get access to stuff like Air Slash, which will be very, very useful. We're going to go ahead and use Gust of Mose earlier, and I should wrap that up. Yeah, it does. Nice. Let's see how much more XP does Vesper can get for leading this, uh, fight. 640 EXP, almost an entire level. That's a big jump. Another Rosalia, so I think you know exactly what we're going to do, right? I actually want to use um, a Bug Bite, just to see, because that base 6 is a little bit more powerful. I want to see how much more damage it will do. Just out of curiosity. Thankfully, our defenses are quite high, so that's decent. Bug Bite! Respectable damage, actually, you know that. And let's go ahead and use Gus as well. The only thing about Best Bitcoin, I do have to say saying it, is Best Bitcoin, even though it's got good defense and good attack, decent attack, is that, like, its speed is dreadfully slow, like 40 base speed or something like that. Unfortunately, we get poisoned, so one more bug bite and we'll be out of here. This thing won't kill me in time, so we're good, honestly. Don't worry about it. Rosalia goes down, and how much Best Bitcoin XP? An entire level, and was there like it's an entire level too. Alright, and now we're at the Battle of Lakefront guys, our second Lakefront of the game. We go down here and we go over to the left, so we actually can't get in there right now. To protect the lake, it's nice to know there are still people who are admiring like that. I believe his name was Cyrus. Yeah, right. 